Hey guys, this is Jared at 3C's Recreation. Want to give you a little quick heads up if you have an 850 Patriot engine. This is a 2019. Customer was riding it across the field yesterday. The machine shut off on its own. He looked down, the dash was blinking way too hot. It shut itself off. So that sensor did its job. Um, but what we found is, first we were thinking coolant bottle because that's where the thermostat is on these. So if you're not familiar with the 850s, and you're looking on the parts diagram for where the thermostat is, it's in the bottom of this coolant bottle. And that's um, right here. You can kind of see this next little knuckle down below there. So to get to it, you got to buy a whole coolant bottle. You can't even drain the coolant out because they got this screen halfway down. And we also noticed behind there, you can see the clamp behind there is rubbing into his cooler, which isn't super exciting but that's not really the issue that we've, we're gonna talk about here. So we can't really test that thermostat because it's stuck in that bottle unless we wanna cut that bottle apart. I guess we could test it that way. But the bigger issue is whenever this machine was sitting here overnight, I came in this morning, there was huge puddles. I actually had the sled over here and we've mopped the floor since then, but there was huge puddles of coolant, or not coolant, oil. You can kind of see like the trail every time I move it you can see how much oil residue is all over the bottom of this thing. And as you look up under the motor, it's literally a puddle of coolant. And what we found, and I'm just gonna attach right here a picture off of my phone because I can't get the GoPro down at the angle, but there's an oil line that runs underneath this engine right into the bottom of the block. And that oil line is what drives your water pump uh, gear. So, we're not a player stealer, so we're not going to go any farther. We think that the water pump failed on this because oil has not been getting to it. You can see how much oil is under here. Let me walk to the other side here. You can see how much oil is over here as well. And originally you would think, oh, the guy overfilled his oil, whatever. But if you look way down in there, you can see the pond of oil under the engine and again I'm gonna attach a couple of pictures here to show you that and just so you don't think you know this sled always been kept in a enclosed trailer you can see the condition of this sled. the sled's not been beat on you know an oil line falling off is certainly not the customers fault this sled only has 1138 miles on it if you got an 850 I certainly wouldn't ride it anymore until you check that oil line and I think the only reason why we caught it is because it came inside and that oil that's been ponding up underneath of there finally got warm enough with our heated floor to notice it. So again, if you own an 850 Patriot, I'd be, I'd be pulling your exhaust off right away and I'd be making sure that that oil line underneath of here is not disconnected. Again, this is Jared at 3C's Recreation. If you have a Patriot 850, please pull your exhaust off and check that oil line.